Hello and thanks for watching ProX of New York. G Mining Ventures recently started trading on the OTCQX. Join me with more about the company and its prospects as CEO Louis Pierre Gignac. Uh, Louis Pierre, very good to speak with you today. Thanks for having me. So, Louis Pierre, uh, for those viewers not familiar with the company, can you tell us more about G Mining? Yeah, G, G Mining Ventures is a Canadian uh, company that has uh, acquired a project in Brazil uh, last year. Uh, so, we're in the process of uh, looking to start construction of that project and, and put that into commercial production. And that's the Tocantinsinho project in Brazil? Correct. So, so tell us more about the project and what you're aiming to dig up out of the ground in Brazil. So we're, we're looking to produce about 175,000 ounces of gold a year um, over at least a 10-year time frame, uh, given the reserves that we have right now. Um, so our objective is over the next two years to build this, put this into commercial production. And really for us, this is a first asset uh, to create an intermediate uh, gold producer. Um, so we will be looking for future you know, additional projects over time as well. How far, how far advanced is the project at this stage, Louis Pierre? We completed a feasibility study. Um, we're in the detail engineering phase right now and have made uh, several uh, you know, uh, procurement of long lead items for the project. So really we're about a month or two away from uh, having an initial, you know, a full construction release uh, decision. Uh, and you, you acquired this last year from El Dorado. Is that right? Uh, and, and what sort of work had they done on, on it before you, you took over? Yeah, correct. The, we, we acquired this from El Dorado. They had done some previous technical studies that we uh, you know, revised and, and optimized to our liking, uh, but essentially they had done quite good technical work. So we had a, a good foundation to work from. Um, and really that's you know, the starting point for us uh, in terms of where we took over the project. Is there any further exploration potential at the project? Yes, absolutely. This is a, a really, you know, large land package that uh, is about 5% drill tested at this point. So we, we see a lot of upside with this property and, and we'll be doing exploration uh, throughout the construction period, but really picking up once we get into commercial production. Okay. So, so take us then to your, your reasons for trading on the OTCQX and, and the sort of uh, response you've had from investors. Yeah, we're, we're really looking to diversify our investor base. Um, you know, right now we do have a very concentrated shareholder base um, and um, we're, we're happy to be able to bring new investors through, through this platform um, in, in the future. Mm -hmm. and, and the appetite for your stock. I mean, I, I noticed that you announced, a, you recently announced a fundraising, so 481 million of financing, and that's to advance the Tokatins in your project. Um, with the first tranche of that closing last week. So take us through the funding for the project. Yeah, we essentially announced a, a, a package that provides us full funds for, for constructing the project. So we have uh, just over 350 million of financing from Franco Nevada. Um, in that 350, they're participating in a private uh, you know, equity placement that we did. And so the first tranche of that uh, closed last Friday. And we're also bringing in uh, uh, a new large shareholder in, in La Mancha. Uh, so pro forma, they'll be uh, at 25% um, once the second tranche of their, um, their equity closes. And do you think it'll give other investors confidence to have two such large cornerstone investors in the company? Yeah, I, I think for sure La Mancha is, is an investor that's there for the long term. Uh, they want to be a part of our growth story going you know, in, in, in growing the company and bringing in additional assets. Uh, so I do think uh, for investors, that's very comforting to see uh, such uh, you know, good partners coming into, into the company. So, so take us through how you see the investment case for G Mining Ventures. Well, I, I think you know for us, I think we, we see ourselves as being a uh, a company that's now fully funded, uh, soon to have all the permits required uh, to, to enter into construction. Um, and we also have a very good team that has a good track record in, in building projects. So I think we combine all the main ingredients that's required to be successful in, in our business. And the sort of news flow this investor should be looking out for in the short to medium term? Um, definitely a, a construction decision uh, in the near future and uh, providing an update uh, on our, our CapEx and how we're trending against our, our, our feasibility study CapEx um, and also exploration results that will be coming out uh, in, in the near future as well. I hope you keep us updated on any developments, but thank you very much for the introduction to the company today. Thank you.
Philippe Gignac is the CEO at G Mining Ventures.